Colligative properties. Colligative properties of solutions depend on the quantity of solute dissolved in the solvent rather than the identity of the solute. The phenomenon of freezing point lowering will be examined quantitatively as an example of a colligative property. There are three parts in this experiment. Part A. Determination of the freezing point of a pure solvent. Insert a solid rubber stopper into a clean, dry, 200 milliliter test tube and place the stopper test tube in a clean, dry, 150 milliliter beaker. Weigh this apparatus on a balance. Put aside the beaker and the stopper as they will be used for weighing again. In the fume hood, pour approximately 25 milliliters of solvent into the test tube. Cap the test tube with a rubber stopper that has two holes in it. Clamp the test tube to the stand. Make sure the temperature sensor is immersed in the solution. Open the LogaPro program and the appropriate file for the experiment. Make sure the temperature sensor is connected to the CH1 input of the LabQuest Mini interface and that the LabQuest interface is active. There should be a green LED on. Fill a 400 milliliter beaker with approximately 300 milliliters of tap water ice mixture. Immerse the test tube in the ice water bath and begin stirring the solution immediately with a copper wire stir without disturbing the temperature sensor. Click on the LogerPro Collect button. The contents of the test tube must be stirred continuously for the duration of the experiment. After 10 minutes, the data collection will automatically stop. Remove the test tube from its ice bath and replace the rubber stopper with the two holes. Do not discard the solvent. It will be used in Part B. Analyze the data as described in the lab manual to find the freezing point of the pure solvent. Part B. Determination of the freezing point of a benzophenone solvent solution. Warm the solvent from part A in your hands until it melts. Weigh the solvent using the same 150 milliliter beaker. Weigh approximately 0.4 grams of benzophenone to three decimal places. Transfer the benzophenone to the test tube containing the melted solvent and mix thoroughly until the solute is fully dissolved. Cover with the rubber stopper and weigh the test tube using the same 150 milliliter beaker as before. Replace the rubber stopper with the rubber stopper with the two holes in it. Fit it with the temperature sensor and stir. 
Clamp the test tube to the stand. Make sure the temperature sensor is immersed in the solution as much as possible. Open up the appropriate file in LogerPro. Monitor the temperature of the solution on the LogerPro status bar. It should not differ from room temperature by more than 1 degree Celsius. Immerse the test tube into the ice water bath and click on Collect. Stir the solution continuously during the data collection. When the data collection stops, analyze the data as in Part A to obtain the freezing point temperature of the solution. Discard the contents of the test tube in the container labeled Organic Liquid Waste Part C. Determination of the freezing point of a solution of an unknown solid in cyclohexane. Obtain another clean, dry 200 milliliter test tube and rubber stopper. Insert the rubber stopper into the test tube and weigh them in a 150 milliliter beaker. Repeat Part A to determine the freezing point of the pure solvent using the same LogerPro program file. Remember to stir the solution continuously during the data collection and to weigh the test tube after the freezing point data has been collected and the solvent has melted. Obtain a sample of an unknown solid. Measure out a mass of the solid within the range listed on the bottle and transfer this quantity into the test tube containing cyclohexane. Stir the mixture, warming it if necessary, in order to dissolve all the solid. Cap the solution and weigh the test tube in the 150 milliliter beaker as before. Replace the rubber stopper with the rubber stopper that had the two holes in it, fitted with the temperature sensor and the stirrer. Use Logger Pro again to collect the temperature data, Open up the program, immerse the test tube into the ice water bath, and click on Collect. Stir the solution continuously during the data collection. When the data collection stops, analyze the data as in Part A to obtain the freezing point temperature of the solution. Discard the contents of the test tube in the container labeled Organic Liquid Waste. Wash the test tube thoroughly with soap and place it in the oven to dry. Clean the glassware and put away the equipment. 